so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Azbul in his corner. Good champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. Ready. Ready. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Khabib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, got to like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early in DC. Big ground and pound. Now the hammer fist here by Nurmagomedov. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. This fight, come on. And just misses with that big right hand. Got the single collar tie. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. Just misses with a left hook there. Nurmago Medov gets the early takedown. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, right into mouth. Watch on ball here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. That was a slick transition. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you, try to change him and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. That's it, yep. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Back to the clinch. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday. The game plan he's executing to perfect. Oh, now he's attacking North Triangle. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Both fighters get up now. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Oh, big right hand, yes. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. All right, late round action here in Khabib Nurmagomedov, as usual, having his way with another opponent. Just such a nuanced game on the ground. I mean, this dude is so good at using his wrestling and grappling skills to control his opponents. He is a bear on top, and I'm saying that literally. And tonight, he is taking for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Khabib's in half court. A minute and a half to go in our opening round. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Now he's going full mount. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. All right, looks like that Dars is tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. 
fight. He flattened him out. This could be the beginning of the end. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. to go. And now he's got the back. In the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got to start throwing now. Final seconds here. So there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. And there you go. Again, half guard. Nermago Madoff's right back to the full mount here. Let's go. We got a scramble here. He's got to be careful here. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp. Marco Medov's going for a choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, so there it is again. Reach, repeat, another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. That's exactly what he was doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Now he's trying to guillotine. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Getting the ball here. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Investing in the body with the kick there. Big double leg level change. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. I need you to scramble. scramble. Now inside the closed guard, in position for a submission attempt here. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. The triangle choke is very close to being locked in. Now he's got to get his feet up together, and he's got to start to pull down on the head if he wants to finish this fight. Holding the position. Fighting for it. He wants it bad. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Still in hot pursuit of the submission here. So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with our next round. I thought he showed some great ground defense skills in the previous round. Doesn't want to hang out off his back fighting there for too long, but that said, not a whole lot of damage being inflicted. Well, it's not ideal position. You know, you don't want to be on your back, but if you are there, you want to make sure that you're moving. You want to make sure that you're controlling your opponent's posture. You want to make sure you're not getting brutalized by the top fighter. He really did a good job of limiting the damage he took while he was in a bad position. He passes the half. Oh, right into Mount. Mm, that was nice. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Khabib's back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, feet on the hips here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of... Nermago Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Wow, somehow, suddenly he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, leads with the right hand, and that one certainly found its desired target. It landed instead of the jab, he threw the straight right hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Another big takedown. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, he got to the spot. 
elbow from the top now by Nermago Meta. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away. Oh, big shots raining down. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Another big thing. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's gotta start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you gotta anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Now he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Nicely done. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Pick his arm. He's got a little crucifix. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nermako right, Medov's back in side control here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. He's going Kabura now. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. You see him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Oh, and another punch oh. on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes now, fit to go. You tell yourself you can do anything. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. We'll see if he tries to change levels here. Trips his opponent with the ankle pick. An ankle pick takedown. We're so used to seeing singles, doubles, high crotches. When an ankle pick is hit, you applaud the guy doing the technique. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Hart has the guard closed here. Khabib's in half guard. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, it's getting deep. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. In the half guard. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. That one was clean. Great punch. 
Closes. The now the transition to the 2 0 throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Now he's going full mount. Watch the arm bar, but watch the arm bar here. Arms in deep. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Gotta be careful here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Beautiful combination there. Effective use of the jab there by Nermago Medoff. Oh, nice inside kick. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl tie. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what Nermago Medoff gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Oh, more attack. Yup. Now he's in trouble. said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strike. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. Now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head at all costs. Oh, Him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and that was a point back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. And he blocked the punch there. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times. As the opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. And Ermago Medov's back in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is where he wants to be. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Referee will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of pump. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. All right, working inside his... Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. That guillotine is tight! Getting close to the finish. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Lands a nice straight. Oh, single collar tie here. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. There's the single. He passes to half guard. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medov. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. 
to the single collar ties. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show itself. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, call him a soldier. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a pin. Oh, that's double leg, yes. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kamora here. It's tight. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees up belly. He's postured up. He's landed big front and pump. He has to move on the body or the fight's gonna get stopped. North-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. That Dar's choke is tight. There it is. Oh! He got out! He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that Dar's choke. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've gotta do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Another thing now, land. All right, side control now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Khabib's got the full mount. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, we'll posture again throw big strikes and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. Versus the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Nermago Meta. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Stop. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nirvana Medal.